Hi everyone! In this video, we will interpret the standard deviation of a set of data. Suppose you are managing a manufacturing process that produces light bulbs. The mean lifespan of these light bulbs is 800 hours, with a standard deviation of 50 hours. You choose 20 light bulbs at random and find that their average lifespan is 780 hours. How many standard deviations from the mean is the average lifespan of the tested light bulbs and in what direction? We're going to find how far our sample light bulb mean is from the population mean, and then we can find out how many standard deviations they are. Let's go ahead and take what we were given, in this case, the sample mean, and let's subtract the population mean. That'll show us how far away we are from the mean, and then if we divide this by the standard deviation, that'll tell us how many standard deviations we are above or below the population mean. For those of you who may already know some of these uh, symbols, this would be our sample mean, x bar, minus the population mean, mu, divided by the standard deviation, sigma. And if you don't, that's okay, we'll just use the blue part so let's go ahead and we will take our sample mean. We found that our light bulbs were 780 hours for the lifespan, and the population is 800 hours. This tells us how far away we are. 780 minus 800 gives us negative 20. This means that our lifespan of the sample is lower than the population lifespan, and we know that because we were told that the sample is 780 and the population is 800, so it is lower. Now let's find our 50 hours as the standard deviation. So it's not a full standard deviation below the population mean, but if we divide it by 50, negative 20 divided by 50 gives us negative 0.4. This means that we are not quite half of a standard deviation below the population uh, mean. So we can write that the sample is 0.4 or 0 0.4 standard deviations to the left of the population mean. And now we're all done.